You're all ready for a change of pace. Um, my presentation is a little bit less technical, but I think just as relevant. Um, it is on uh, the billion dollar startups. Initially, I had planned to do a little more uh, deep dive into uh, the JavaScript technology, but I decided to talk a little bit more on the, uh, on the business side of things because I found that in my conversation, talk, talk, talking to you guys and some of the juniors, I felt that uh, it's a great knowledge to have that we're in, that, now that we're uh, about to graduate uh, senior phase. And I think it's important for us to understand um, kind of what's currently happening in an, in an industry. So why do we care? Uh, as we, re as, as we uh, get towards hiring day, we'll be doing recruiting here outside. I think it's important for us to understand that a lot of us uh, will be looking at companies that are established, uh, but as well as startups. And it's part of uh, the startup culture and te technology in general uh, to understand um, what are unicorns, what, what do they mean, and how do they function. Uh, and as you conduct recruiting, uh, you'll be networking with, with individuals. And it's just as important to be able to speak to uh, the products as well as your code. Um, understanding the current industry landscape means that you are a great developer, but also uh, uh, knowledgeable in the uh, business uh, terminologies. And the impact on the technology that we learn here or will develop in the future are very much based uh, on what companies get funded as, as well. Uh, it's important to understand uh, to, to stay sharp as a developer, but uh, to, do, to, do, to, to, to do so, you have to know where the money is. Uh, and for those who are interested in starting your own company, uh, of course, this is very, very relevant. So what is a unicorn? I think we've, most of us have heard of it. And here's a def definition that's uh, kind of a, a really broad definition of what a unicorn is. A VC-backed company that is private and independent, meaning that it's not a subsidiary to a parent company. Uh, it is uh, funded uh, by a VC firm uh, that is usually technology oh, has, has some sort of new technology breakthrough or is centered around technology, whether it's mobile, whether it's cloud-based, uh, and it's valued at a billion dollar plus. Uh, the term was coined by Eileen Lee of Cowboy Ventures. She was an MIT grad, HBS, uh, and Kleiner Perkins. Um, uh, she popularized the term to describe a rare, kind of a rare company out there. Uh, and as you will find out, it's actually not that rare these days. Uh, cash flow, um, it's something that's not a indication of a unicorn. It, you don't necessarily have to have a positive or a, a positive net, net cash flow, uh, given that you don't have transparency into the finances of these private companies. Um, but uh, these, these are kind of the, kind of the criteria that, 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 that you need to become a, a unicorn. So before we get into uh, what these unicorns are or, 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 or what these companies are, uh, before uh, this, this, cor this term was coined, post-Google, uh, these are the successful uh, startups um, that, that uh, have, been, have gone public or have been acquired. Uh, and I think we're all very familiar with these, with these names. Um, half of these are, are public list listed still. Uh, the other, I would say the other half are have been acquired. Before we talk about um, the current state of uh, the unicorns, um, how, how do we determine whether, the, whether it's a billion dollars or not, right? Um, how much is it worth? So this is kind of a breakdown of what valuation is for a private company. Uh, as, as it, it is not a market capitalization. It is not uh, what an equity is worth on the stock market. Um, it, is, it also does not reflect really how good your company is. It really only speaks to, in my opinion, um, how good you are at fundraising, which, you know, for what it's worth, it, it is very important. Uh, it does depend on how much the money that uh, your startup needs um, to experiment, doing R&D, to grow, uh, both in technology or user base. And as a runway, usually the runway is around six to 12, 12 months. Um, and how you conduct evaluation is a little, little more difficult than your public companies because you can't really do your tr traditional DCFs. Uh, you look at comparisons, you calculate multiples, like revenues, uh, enterprise value, users, and you project. Um, it is a little, a little more art than science, uh, and a lot of it is, is purely marketing. 
these are the major uh, industry segments um, of these billion dollar plus companies. Uh, I think you might recognize uh, a number of these by their um, company logos. Uh, and these are the top 15 global companies as of this month. Give you a second to look over. And as you can see, I'm sure we're all very familiar with 80% of these companies. Um, it is good to know that Palantir and SpaceX um, were founded by uh, Peter Thiel and Elon Musk, if you didn't know that already. Uh, they're the, they're the so-called uh, PayPal mafia, those who successfully uh, sold ma uh, PayPal and now have gone on to pursue their own VCs or companies. That's a term that you'll be hearing very, very often. Um, Dropbox was a, a big reason why I started uh, looking to technology and coding. Uh, Drew Houston uh, was a friend of mine from college. Uh, I probably should have followed him to Dropbox at that point, but uh, it's, it's a company that's doing very well. I'm sure a lot of us use that technology as well. Uh, and Spotify is something that uh, we, we made a clone of here at Fullstack. Uh, they are a, a very successful uh, company as, as we know it. These are the US-based ones. Um, there's been a lot of press around Theranos, how um, it is not really, it doesn't have its own technology. It's really kind of a, uh, a uh, using a lot of other traditional technologies to propel itself. Um, and you can read, that, read, read about that a lot more in the news. Uh, Lyft is really a clone of Uber. Um, so there's not really, it, just because you're a billion dollar startup, it doesn't really mean, uh, it doesn't really speak to your technology, your ideas. It just really is good, you're good at capturing a market or marketing uh, your product. Uh, Stripe, uh, I think one of, our, one of the Stack Store teams uh, had to implement Stripe. Uh, it's a very successful company, uh, started by Patrick Collison, um, also a friend of mine from college. Uh, started this is his second company with his brother. Uh, it's probably the kind of the it payment company right now. And these are the software ones, um, purely uh, not based on uh, you know, marketing, consumer, et cetera, et cetera. Great. Uh, DocuSign we've used to sign documents. Um, Slack we use every day here. Uh, GitHub, of course, uh, and MongoDB. These are the pri primary business models for New York City unicorns. Um, it's not as, uh, 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 it's more advertising based and customer based than it is out, out in the Bay Area. Bay Area. And, you'll, and you'll recognize these names as well. Um, AppNex is just uh, Midtown, Will be Parker. Um, these are all the New York City uh, unicorns, or the, the big ones at least. Current status, uh, last count, 229 unicorns, um, about four per year. Uh, usually takes about six years to, to reach that valuation, and then another year or so to either go public or be acquired or liquidate. Uh, from, an, from an investor's perspective, uh, they look at really three things, right? ROI, how much funding you need or need to put in, and how much uh, percentage of that company you get. It's, uh, it's, it's really a, a lot more art and science, like I said before. Uh, when you have an exit option, it's usually acquisition, I could hire, or public, publicly listed. Thank you. Any questions? Yes.